Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms. I just want to show you what I've been working on here recently. You can't guess, it's right behind me here. As you can see, I got the greenhouse rolling up automatically. Let me show you how I did it. Here's my control board. Got a little bit extra wire going on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there on this side or if I want to move it back over here. Line goes out, goes outside to the greenhouse motor. Now I've mounted the roll up side curtain motor to the curtain onto his trolley which is on a three-quarter inch piece of gas pipe. It goes all the way up to the top. That way it can ride all the way up. It's got some limit switches down here on the end that you can set. For my purposes on this side, the red's the bottom. Green is how far it goes up. I'll show you how I wired it all up. This is the motor I'm using. Got it off of Amazon. Got a trolley, fits on a three-quarter inch piece of conduit. It is roll-up motor and all that good stuff. The one thing to note is that the power is 100 watt and the voltage is 24 volts with 3.6 amps. So that determines the transformer you have to get for it. Transformer I'm using. 100 watt, 24 volt, 2.4 amps. So it should have plenty to push one motor. For my temperature controller, using a double L group T152-C. It is a single throw, double pull, or single pull, double throw, there we go, thermostat. So it'll actually switch the positive and negative so we can reverse the polarity. I'll show you the inside of that here in a second. This over here is just a junction box for power hookup later. It just powers the converter and I just have a plug on it. So let's plug an extension cord in for now. Powers it, switch 24 volts into here. This takes it positive, negative. When you adjust it, you can hear it click. And it clicks again. So that's my low set. That's off. And there's where my high set is. I can set that in accordance with what the temperature I want. I'll probably stick it around 80 to start with and work from there. Now the one thing to note is when this is actually up and running and plugged in, do not sit here and thermostat jockey it and move it back and forth really quick because since it's reversing the polarity, if it does it too quick, the throws don't go quick enough and they'll actually catch and seize. So you have to take it apart and then knock them free again. It's a pretty simple setup. And this is how you wire up the thermostat. We got positive going in, negative going in. These two legs switch in between. This would be the hot and these ones would be the cold. Since it's 24 volt direct current motor, in order to change the direction, we have to switch the polarity. So I have the positive on one leg and the negative on the other. Same thing over here. They're all tied together. And then to your motor, you have to determine which way it goes up or down. You simply switch the green and the black coming off the motor to switch its direction at any time. Well, I hope you all like what you saw here today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good day.